All right, so this is a game called Paper Ball. It is a Super Monkey Ball adjacent um, upcoming Let's indie game rolling. that I would say is is a a more uh, authentic Monkey Ball experience than Sega is willing to sell you right now. That, that's how I'd put it. Um, it's interesting because it's like. I mean, I'm sure you guys are aware of Rolled Out, which I would describe as, like, the most authentic monkey ball experience you can get right now. Um, this game is a little more, like, a little more modernized. I saw somebody in the chat saying that this is, like, a, um, a banana, like, those are Banana Blitz goals, which, true. They're taking the good parts of, of every, uh, <laughs> every one of these games. Uh, one of the one of the interesting modernizations that I don't even think contemporary Monkey Ball games have, correct me if I'm wrong, is that you can actually move the camera yourself in this. Um, another major improvement over <laughs> modern Monkey Ball games, they give all the levels names, which to me is is uh, crucial. That's how you know it's, it's real Monkey Ball. It is very HD. It is quite Ready? HD. No. It's always interesting to see like when people make a, a game in this genre, the things they choose to keep and the things they choose not to. Like for example, when you fall off the stage in this, they definitely say Fallout. No. But then there's this whole like gold, silver, bronze, metal system, which I think is is pretty interesting. I honestly I've only played like Ready? maybe 15 no. minutes of this. I played the demo. Whoa. Alright, I see you. Um, so I'm going in. Fallout. We got our first fallout. Ready? Go! Alrighty. We got this. <laughs> Never mind. Fallout. Ready? Go! So, uh, one thing that I'm kind of curious about, I think I know the answer is whether the, um... Because you might have noticed... Well, you gotta time... This is pretty tough for a novice stage. Um, this, the ball appears to be non-spherical, right? It appears to be bumpy and, like, kind of chunky and low-poly, like a bunched-up ball of paper. I don't think that the... There we go. I don't think that the physics bear that out. Like, I haven't felt any... It feels round to me. the game down in a sec. Now's a good time to do that. Boom. There we go. Ready? Cyline says it looks like Super Monkey Ball mixed with Yoshi's Crafted World. I see that. Yeah, there's like a real paper crafty, like the fake cardboard pieces that these platforms are made out of. This is called Ribbons, but it should be called Gibbons. You know what I'm saying? Because Monkey Ball. You feel me? This level, design-wise, feels very, uh, oh shit. <laughs> very Marble It Up-y to me. Ready? Go! There's a few stages in Marble It Up that have kind of this, like, changing paths, but it's like multiple ribbons going down a course feeling. There we go. That's the hardest, that's the hardest jump right there. Uh, Fawaz says, is this game good? I, I don't, can't really issue a verdict yet, because I'm just trying it out, but it seems to, like, understand Monkey Ball better than, than a lot of, a lot of games with Monkey Ball in the title. I'm gonna go for this, uh, this is the first, like, secret egg that I've encountered, and I'm going for it. <laughs> Maybe not. Ready? All right, here we go. I'm gonna. I think I need a little speed to do this right. <laughs> That's really hard. So there's no lives. You might have noticed. There's just like a. What looks like a. Is that a death counter at the top of the screen? I have eight deaths so far. Bro. Ready? Go. All 
Alright, hold on. This is my last shot at this secret exit, then we'll just move on. Oh my god! Ready? <laughs> Alright, whatever, man. We're just... We're doing this the... We're doing this the easy way. We're going baby mode. The level design is, is, is pretty, uh, like, there are levels that feel like they could be monkey ball levels, and there are ones that are pretty substantially different. Like, that last one didn't feel like a monkey ball level design, but I think that's cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see you. Oh, whoops! Ooh! Yeah, um, somebody in the chat, uh, Takura says, I find it interesting how this game takes things from Monkey Ball, like the start and end sequences of each level. Totally. Like the way the camera spins in at the start of a level and... Uh... Sorry. I had to focus. Um... Stunt ramp. This sounds promising. It's gonna be like, uh, like downhill from Super Monkey Ball 2. Oh my god. What's the, what's the alternate? I should have just held forward. I tried to get too crazy with it. Come on. Going uphill in a, in a monkey ball game always, it's always a struggle. Yeah, I totally, I totally would describe it as a mix between Marble It Up and Monkey Ball. Okay, so I still gotta get some timing right for this to work. I like how- I actually really like how it- yeah, the ending is definitely very Monkey Ball when it shoots up into the sky, but I like how when it goes through the goal, it just kind of- It's like zero gravity turns on and it keeps its momentum. These are- for- for novice courses, these are some doozies, man. Oh my god, I got- I got spanked by the level. That's how you get gold, I bet. Yeah, exactly. No, I- I've understood. It takes things from Monkey Ball that could have been different, but they decided to honor Monkey Ball, which is interesting. I, yeah. I love stuff like that. I, it's... It's cool, because this game, like, there's no... There's no... Simeon in the sphere, right? There's no animal inside the ball. Um, so, like, they gave it its own narrative and its own aesthetic, for sure. But then there are these little things, these little touches that feel like nods to, to Monkey Ball. Uh, the Mimic no. says, this game doesn't look to feel exactly like Monkey Ball. The camera and gameplay are different. I, uh, yeah, that's correct. The gameplay, like, the, it feels a little different. A big part of that is having, uh, camera controls on the right analog stick. Ready? Go. Oh, what's up, Thomas? Yeah, you know, one thing that I really do love about this game visually is I think the backdrop- Okay, I'm trying to- that's what's happening. I'm trying to skip one of the rings, one of Saturn's Ready? rings here. Uh, the backdrops all, like, the skyboxes all feel very evocative of Monkey Ball, in that they seem enormous <laughs> and have some sort of, like, motion or activity going on. Go. Uh, Mrs. Refrigerator said, what happened to that mouse Monkey Ball fan game? Ready? Um, Go. you're talking about Rolled Out, and that game is still on the way. Um, the creator, Brandon Johnson, still updating his development blog, like, every two weeks. He's been really consistent about posting updates. Um, you just have to go seek him out. But that game is still in progress. Ready? Go! I still think that that is, like, to me, Brandon's levels are the gold standard of, like, that game is the Sonic Mania equivalent, not just in the way that I... Hey! Total success. I'm about total success. I had 14 deaths. <laughs> um, I want to see what some of the other modes are. Um, somebody said, will Sega Sue rolled out? I doubt it. Sega does not have a history of going after fan games, really. Um, they have never really done it for a Sonic fan game or a Sonic like game. So I think we're good. All right, let me check real quick. I want to try metal mode here. 
But let me make sure I'm allowed to show it. Yeah, no showing higher than world five. Oh, world five. Okay, so the fact that this has different worlds makes me think that it's like, almost like Monkey Ball story mode. Oh, it totally is. All right. So do, you, do I need to clear all of them to... Let's see here. Oh, I see it. Did you guys see that? I just spotted a shortcut. Hold on. Yo! Not that it really helps me in, in metal mode, but... Oh, maybe it does. What's interesting about this game's camera controls compared to normal Monkey Ball is pulling off a trick like the one I just did is way easier in this, because I just had to hold back on the stick, as opposed to wrestling with the camera that's attached to the, the control stick. You know? Is that a gold? That was a gold. Oh, my fault. I didn't even realize the cursor was on there. Boom. Ready? Go! Alright. Is the camera tied to the control stick and rolled out? It is. Um as far as I can remember. I haven't actually played World Out in a minute. I, I wonder if that's optional, but it, it, the version I played, yeah, it definitely was. Let's All right. get rolling. Let's try intermediate mode. Ready, go! Ooh. Oh, whoops! All right, good save. I'm gonna get a silver maximum on silver, probably a bronze. No, all right, silver. What controller am I using? I'm using an Xbox One controller with Bluetooth. Ready? Windmills. Do you think if I do you think if I hold forward here I can just This is my first stream from my new uh, home office, so I haven't installed any sort of sound dampening or anything like that. It makes me happy to see all these up corrupted Gong Gon user icons in the chat. Oh shoot! All right, hold on. Uh, uh. Did you guys see that? Y'all see that juke? No. All right, silver. Wait, where do I... Ah, uh, I see. Ah. That felt like a very... <laughs> very early one. Ready? Go! Alright, hold on. That's not too bad. That's not too hard. I like these backdrops a lot, man. They look nice. Ready? Go! Oh, <laughs> oh look at that! It's even got the little smudges, like in, uh... Like in Super Monkey Ball 2, on the little launchers. Go! That's a That's a real deep cut, man. That's a good... Good monkey ball reference. Ready? Go! Alright. Madhouse. Is there a view stage thing? Okay, let's view- Oh! So I'm supposed to go straight through. Alright, I think I get it. I saw like uh, at the end of that beginner mode run, it told me to try beating it with five or fewer deaths. So I'm going to attempt that on intermediate, but no promises. I'm assuming I just want to go straight through here. Nope. Another trick. Oh shoot! Alright. Um, 
Whatever, I can get a better time this way. Alright, so it must be a full... yeah. Alright, here we go. There we- there's the- there's the exit. I'm not gonna get a gold time on this. Now this feels like an authentic monkey ball <laughs> uh, contraption to me. Cliff Edge. There was a really great level in, in Monkey Ball 2, I think, where... Oh, this is so reminiscent of one level in Monkey Ball 2. But uh, that's not what I was thinking of. There's a level in Monkey Ball 2 where you end up in this little divot and you have to like slide left and right and every time you hit the edge it kind of bumps you up a level. Just a cool little physics situation. They're not going to make me do three laps around this, are they? Oh, they are. <laughs> I'm really incentivized to not fall on account of how much I don't want to play this level twice. Uh, fuck! <laughs> well, there's no time limit, so I can't, I can't time over. And the immortal words of Brian Matt. The music fading away? It took so long. Time over. All right, come on. I'm just gonna, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna go gently, go slowly. It's not worth risking it, risking it all. Oh. Tina Farclear says, "I love those trumpets." You haven't actually paid as much attention to the music as I probably should have. Ready? Go. More bumps. This game loves, like, a bubble wrap looking ass level. Oh, that one's breathing. Jabu Jabu's belly vibes from that level. Ready? Go. Wes M says, how many levels are there? A Monkey Ball S game should have tons. I don't know the answer to that. Oh, I like that this level has its own sound effects. Oh, it speeds up! Ugh! And then slows down, right? Um, I would say check- I've got a link to the Steam page for the game in the description. Uh, check there and see if it says how many levels there are. I really don't want to die this far into the level. Ugh! Ugh! Alright, still eked out a silver medal. Waffles. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up, because I feel like I haven't been doing a good job of paying attention to the chat. I'm gonna pull up the live chat uh, on my my other monitor here so I can so I can talk to y'all a little more easily. Oh, there's a lot of you watching. Hello. Thank you, Michael Kelly, for the uh, super chat. Let me pop it out. And boom. Boob and come. Oh, you're all saying hi to me. What a bunch of sweeties. Um, well, get your highs out while you can, because it's kind of hard to um, <laughs> to look and, and play a monkey ball game at the same time. But I'll try. Come on. Yep. Oh. Pretty solid. Skeleton. Ready, what kind of skeleton is this? Does this look like a skeleton? <laughs> doesn't look like doesn't, doesn't really look like a skeleton to me. But you know, plenty of monkey ball levels have really mystifying names, so that just adds to the the authenticity, baby. Yo! Oh shit! Is there? A Ready. Snake skeleton. I like to take these take these inside curves really really aggressively. Try to get that gold time. Oh no 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 no. Fall out. Ready? Go. All right. So if I can do it in fifteen forty three, have I gotten a single gold medal so far? Those gold medal times are 
Oh, right. Well, there's the fifth death. Call out. Ready? Go. <laughs> this level looking like scoliosis, says Mr. Berry Blast. Snakes have skeletons. I was hesitant to say. I got I got I got to chill. I got to chill. I got to chill. Fall out. Ready? Go. All right. Don't fuck up. Fuck. <laughs> okay. All right. Lesson learned. All right, message received, you guys. Snakes have skeletons. <laughs> I don't know how animals work. All right, I feel like I need to not rush down this one. I just gotta let gravity do its thing. Oops. God, that was close. I need to pour myself a little coffee. Hang on one sec. Out this, out this Zojirushi thermos I just bought. Changed my whole life. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Kind of a kind of a double helix. Oh, wait, I, just, wait, I just read the name of the level. <laughs> that was a weird moment. <laughs> I said that and then glanced. I was like, I wonder what this level's name is. And <laughs> I'll damn. Um. Uh oh. All right. There's only one. Yo, shouts out to uh, to the YouTube uh, brand new live uh, interface that you know doesn't let you um, turn slow mode on or off anywhere in there. That's pretty sick. Uh, no real feedback about what resolution you're streaming at or if you're dropping any frames. It's really a uh, really a masterpiece. I M H O. Uh -huh. The Olympic skeleton events. All right, I beat I beat the level. Ready? Go. Some eggs. This level should be called Some Eggs. Am I gonna go uphill for this? I can't, but I can't tilt the camera that high. I can't see. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Are they targeting me? Um, am I gonna stream Half-Life Alex when it comes out? I don't know. I was I was unpacking my home office and I found my like Oculus headset that I kinda Wow, they have physics? You can knock them off the level? That's that's brazy. Um okay. this this lane should be pretty clear. So yeah, I could I could uh I could maybe play that game. I definitely am gonna play it. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it. Um, does this actually feel like Super Monkey Ball, or is it just similar gameplay? I would say it's similar gameplay, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like Super Monkey Ball. And that's, in, in all honesty, that's probably by design. Like, Rolled Out to me, Rolled Out is very much an example of, I want to perfectly replicate the feel of these old games. And this is more like, I, I would imagine that this came from, um, someone whose perspective is, we want to make a game inspired by that, but that isn't just the same thing again. You know what I'm saying? I... Whew. Is it Voltorb or Electro? Well, that depends, uh... Ready? Go. That depends on if it's, like, this way up. That's, that's Voltorb, right? And then that's Electrode. Oof! Timing these bounces is going to be the, the death of me. Ready? Go. Is there any backstory behind this game? Uh, yeah, there's I mean, there's a there's a plot. I'll show you the opening cutscene here in a minute. But if you want to see the opening cutscene yourself, there is a demo on. Maybe I'm supposed to like Go. ride those rails a little bit. Ready? Go. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. It's it's gonna come apart right when I get to the finish line. Fallout. 
Ready? Go! Alright. What if I start going now? <laughs> Ready? Go! Alright, I'm gonna go back a little. And boom! The ultimate gamer strikes again with a gold medal. You already know what it is. Ready? Go. Okay, what are you what are you trying to now? Fall out. Bum, 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 Ready? Bum, bum. Go. There's a level in Monkey Ball 2 that this also reminds me of. Although that level is kind of bullshit. You know the one I'm talking about where there's that big spinning top with only one opening and you gotta time it just right? This feels like a more fair version of that. Although it might it might get more brutal as it goes on. Let's see. Mm. Alright, where are we going next? Where are we dropping? Did I miss my shot? No, no, no! No, <laughs> let me live! Alright, I'm gonna get slapped off over here. Shit. Woo! Did you see that save though? No, damn it. <laughs> Alright, this one's going slowly enough that I can still kind of make my way back onto it. Walking fast. Alright, and I'm gonna say after this one. <laughs> Oh, here's the exit. Oh, this one stops. Yo. A meager bronze. A meager bronze level. Funnels. Oh, now we're talking. I'm about to go through a damn time warp. Oh god. I just realized there's a timing element. Alright, so I gotta just circle the drain here. Fall out. Ready? Go. Alright, there we go. No! Oh! are equally hard. Damn. Wait, check out this skip. I'm gonna go for a skip. Oh, if I had just held forward. Ready? Go. I'm going for the skip. Shit! I gotta, I gotta get the skip. I gotta have my pops. <laughs> I hit the, I hit the rim directly. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna KO here. I got this. <laughs> yeah, I attacked. I attacked the the goal. You gotta attack it, not annihilate. All right. This, all right. This is my last chance. Last attempt. Keep it, let's keep it moving. Let's keep this momentum. Mm. Just the level of like challenge I'm getting from these level designs. Already this game is... I've had more fun in the past 30 minutes than I had uh, no. with all of most Banana Blitz HD. And that's the T. 
Well, actually, just for fun, I want to get whacked by one of those things, just to see what happens. I want to see how far the ball <laughs> the ball goes. Ready? Go! Oh, I, I guess that didn't really work because I got crushed in between them, right? Oh god. <laughs> Look, I got up to like a thousand kilometers per hour, but that was mostly just falling. Alright. Let me think about this. <laughs> That's kind of what I wanted to happen. Ready? Burning Ice Cream says, Nick, how did you get into Monkey Ball and what's kept you interested all these years? Um, I think... What got me into it? I just think I like rented it at a game store when I was a kid. Um, what kept me interested? I it's like Ready? I, I guess the fact that it's like still fun. There's so many games from when I was a kid that aren't good any aren't fun anymore. Like don't really hold up. Where nostalgia is like most of most of what's enjoyable about them. Um, Ready? Monkey Ball it does not feel that way to me. Like. Like, Monkey Ball 1 and Monkey Ball 2 are just as fun now, if not more fun, than when I, uh, when I first played them. And that's, I think that's what has, like, kept it in my, in my heart. Well, after all these years. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the music so much. Oh, what? Trap doors? <laughs> it's another example of me not reading the level name, saying something, and then looking and realizing that the level name is... Fallout. How do you get the medals, asked Moon Hotel? Um, it's based on timing. So if I can beat the level in Fallout. less than 20 Ready? and a half seconds, yeah. I get a gold medal. If I fail to do that, then I will get a silver, and if I... Oh, they're timing based. They're not actually triggered by rolling over them. I was about to say, that'd be pretty pretty different. I like how fast this last one is. Whoop. Dude, Monkey Target 2, uh, Kevin B says, changed my view, Monkey Target 2 is the pinnacle of Monkey Ball minigames. You're not wrong. I mean, that's it. That's It's the end-all be-all, man. Followed by Monkey Target 1, probably, but, but yeah, dude, Monkey Target 2 is just... Still, still the best thing. Still the best thing. I actually am a big fan of Monkey Baseball. I don't know if that's a common opinion, but there's just the amount of mind games. The fact that when you're when you're pitching in Monkey Baseball, like it's it's a great local multiplayer game. When you're pitching, you can change the speed of your ball at any time, like after it's been thrown. So there's a lot of great mind games going on. There's some real yomi to Monkey Baseball. To Monkey Baseball. Renee Rivers has been watching your channel for quite some time, decided to binge watch them again while recovering from my wisdom teeth. Thanks for your content. Ah, oh, I hope your recovery goes smoothly. I've known a few people who've been through that process, and it can... It varies from person to person, is my understanding. Uh, billiards is fine. Uh, I agree. I agree. It is just billiards, but it's a fun version. It's a fun, arcadey version of billiards. Um, Monkey Target 2, though, is just infinite depth, you know? All right, where do they want me to go? Probably left, right? All right, let's go. We're juking. Come on. That's right, baby. A lot of y'all on the Wisdom Tooth Brigade. Okay, here we do actually have some some parts of the level that are responsive. Oh god, oh god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Ready? Go. Uh, what console is this being played on? I'm just playing the Steam version on PC. Whoa! 
All right, I gotta be a little more thoughtful with this one. Come on. That is nerve wracking. Oh God. Oh, they're moving and, and collapsing. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill Green Stratton, for the nice comment. I, I, I gotta say, weird weird thing to point out, and I know I've mentioned it before, I love these skid marks. <laughs> you can quote me on that. Look at those skid marks, man. Look at those skid marks. It's interesting. So, so only in the past two levels, uh... Have there been, like, levels that are actually responding to the ball physics? Which is really interesting. There's a couple levels in, in Monkey Ball that do that, too. This last wall is quite long. Just gotta inch my way around it here. <laughs> Calavant asks, has this become a Monkey Ball channel? I, you know, I honestly, um, I mean, just, I mean, in, in the interest, oh, I, this level design is, is classic. There's a, there's actually a rolled out level that has a similar vibe to this. Um, I mean, I can, I can fully level with you if you want. I did not intend to do two Monkey Ball videos in a row. Or, or did I? I mean, I guess I guess the Don't Know What Year It Is challenge came after the, the announcer video. But I, I originally had a different plan for what my um, what my March video was going to be. Oh, the mouse cursor's back. It's my fault. Um, but I changed it after the... Um, after, honestly, I changed it after Brian Matt's Instagram post. When I saw that, I was like, okay, there could be an announcement on the horizon, <laughs> and if that happens, then this whole video that I filmed back in October is going to be rendered null and void, so I need to get this video out the door now. <laughs> and honestly, that's the reason. I like dropped everything I was working on. I was working on a whole bunch of other videos, and I dropped everything to finally make this monkey ball one. Matthew Fan says, what's going on? Is Paperball released to the public? No, this is a... It comes out March 25th, I believe. Um, this I got some early access to it. I can't show the whole game, but I can show up to intermediate mode, which is what we're looking at right now. Should I, should I try to... Oh, it's... Oh my god! <laughs> Smashed my ball in the door there, in the car door. Who among us? Oh, is it 27th? My bad. Not 25th. I was thinking of Christmas. Which is on March 25th. There's everyone that- Don't do it again now! No, 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 no! Alright, alright. Bum, 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 bum. Got a nosy on- That is surprisingly nerve-wracking. The changing- Like, trying to roll uphill, which is very, very slow. While this- This door is closing up. Not again, not again! <laughs> Timing. Final stage. I love that final stage text right out of, uh... Alright. Time. What do they want me to do here? There's a way to do it in 15 seconds, and I... I kind of want to try to achieve that. Because I'm already at 15 seconds. Let's try, let's try for a skip. Ready? Go! Come on! <laughs> I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. Nathan A says, check out Core Rimpa Marble Mania for Wii. That was called, it was called Marble Madness, where I, uh... But dude, I played Core Rimpa, man. Core Rimpa is awesome. Really different from Monkey Ball. Actually uses the, uh... There's no way that skip works, right? There's no way the solution is to just roll into that. Um... I love Core Rimpa. It's, Core Rimpa's amazing because it's like... After Banana Blitz totally failed to make a good Wii Remote Marble game, Core Rimpa actually succeeded. And it succeeded by being stricter. That's why they call the level timing, baby. Wait, am I? I was about to backtrack, my fault. Um, oh, I see it! I see what they want. Ready, go. 
Wait a minute, so maybe I need to... I don't know. I'm gonna figure this out, though. I'm gonna fix wolves. Um, Emilio, are you excited about Animal Crossing, or is it not your cup of tea? Let me tell you my full thoughts on Animal Crossing. I love the first one so much, and then I've played every single one since then, and none of them have ever clicked with me the way the GameCube one did. So, I'm gonna try the new one out of, sort of out of obligation, and also because it's been so long since they've made one, and give it a, an earnest attempt to get into it. Because I, I so badly want to love it, but I just... I, I also think I've, I've changed a lot since, um, since I played New Leaf. I think I have more of an appreciation for, like, Nintendo's writing now than I used to. So, I would get more out of it, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. Um, if I was forced to- someone's asking Animal Crossing or Doom. Um, hold on, let me refresh the chat because it froze. I'm probably more- if I'm being totally honest, I'm probably more excited for Doom by a little bit. Oh, weird, the whole- this YouTube down? The chat froze for me on, like, on all platforms, including desktop and mobile. But the stream's still going, so the YouTube live product continues to impress. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, let's, let's do this. Timing. This is why they call it timing, baby. <laughs> this is why they call it timing, baby. <laughs> Yo! Hell yeah. That was a very satisfying ending. You cleared all my stages. Total success. Total success. Total success. Alright, let's see if there's a way to watch the title screen. Because somebody was asking about the story. Is there I wonder if there's like online leaderboards. Oh that that camera panning up to see the fireworks is so monkey ball. Bum, bum. So I can't show you expert. I legally cannot show you expert. Um, let's see if we can get the title screen to play. Who's the voice for the cat girl? I don't know. We can check the credits. Y'all want. I wonder if it's the same voice as the announcer. And yeah, the chat is working, so. Looks like the chat fixed itself. <laughs> no one says, thank you so much, Afford, to playing my game. That is always, always, always how I've heard the Mario 64 ending. I'm gonna give it another few seconds. Give it 30 more seconds. Actually, this is a good time for you to go refill my water. You guys can just enjoy this song. Looks like it's not <laughs> popping up, so I'm just gonna force close the game and boot it up again, and then you'll be able to watch the intro. Uh, Cheeseman says, is this just, just the demo? No, this is the full game. Um, all right, I'll be right back. Good morning, class. This month's art assignment will be all about recycling. You'll have to create an interactive piece of art using only previously used materials. Recycling, huh? Sounds like a tough theme to work with. Ouch! What was that? <laughs> <sighs> Those pesky raccoons again. Can't they ever just pay attention instead of causing trouble? Wait... <gasps> this gives me an idea. I know precisely what I'm gonna create! Alright. Did it did it play? 
Did it play? I was gone. <laughs> I like that. I like that reading of it. Uh, hey Jack, I see your messages. Please stop spamming the chat. Um, all right, it played. Cool. Message received. So I guess what can we do, man? What? I, I haven't messed with rush mode. Hurry to the goal. Shoot for the best metal to retrieve the most time. Ah, I can't show you expert. But as soon as this stream is over, I'm gonna check out expert by myself. Um, let's, let's go for it. <clears throat> All right, rush mode. Ready? Go. Two dun, minutes dun, dun, remaining. Dun, 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 dun. Two minutes remaining. Go. Do I earn time by? I got a gold, so I earned nine. Se oh, si you know what this is like? This is like um. There's a mode. <laughs> this is a weird comparison. In Max Payne One, there was a mode. Oh shit! What happens when you lose? I guess the timer just stops and starts again, but you don't gain any time. In Max Payne 1, there was a mode called New York Minute, where you had 60 seconds, but every time you got a kill, it would add some time to your timer. This is like that. Dude, there's... I, I gotta... I gotta be honest. I, I'm, I know I should be annoyed at these these spam bots in the chat, but they've evolved to the point where they're just taking y'all's messages and copying and pasting them and putting a bunch of hearts after them, and it's like the funniest thing in the world. Like there's a there's a there's a, a icon of a lady, and it says her name is Charlotte. Tap on my photo, and she's saying Bing Bing Wahoo. <laughs> like kind of dope, honestly. That's the that's the vibe I want for my um my live chat. All right, I'm down to two minutes. See if we can't. All right. So I got a silver. I got thir wow. I gained thirty seconds. Yo, we're gonna do the shortcut. Let's go. Oh, I was kind of off center. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that save? Can you save? I wish you could save replays in this. Uh, don't do that. <clears throat> Ready? All right. Go. Peanut Arbuckle says, will you be streaming more often? I actually stream somewhat regularly over on this website. Go. It's this indie website that I've been using. It's a, one of the new competitors. They just launched it to kind of compete with YouTube and, and, and uh, caffeine. It's called twitch.tv. And it's basically, it's, a, it's this new website that they just released for 2020. And it's like a, uh, I would describe it as kind of like YouTube, if the, all the VODs were kind of uh, shitty and hard to watch. No. Um, so check it out. Take a click. Twitch.tv slash Babylonian, baby. As a matter of fact, <laughs> here's something I want to know. Would any of you... This is... Be, Ready? Go. Night, positive and nice answers only. Uh, would any of you want to watch me play Call of Duty? Ready? What's it called? Warface? War? Warzone? War? War mode? Warzone? Would any of you want to watch me play Call of Duty? <laughs> Warzone? Because it's it's all I've been doing for the past three days, <laughs> and I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it on this captive audience monkey ball stream. Um, but that game sincerely is really weird and interesting, and I'm I'm <laughs> it is consumed a huge part of my life. So, uh, I, what I'll probably do is when this stream is done, I'll stream some Call of Duty on Twitch, and then anybody who wants to come with me can come with me, and anybody who doesn't can stay. Ready? Go! Alright. I mean, I know that it's like cool to not like Call of Duty, um, but may I present a counter-argument? Now that it's popular to not like Call of Duty, I think the way for 2020 that we should all get on is actually saying that uh, Ready, Call of Duty is sick and owns. That's the new. That's the new. That's the new vibe for March 2020. Is admitting that Call of Duty kind of kind of slaps a little bit.
All right, how are we doing on time? <clears throat> Ready? Go! I got two minutes. I'm killing this. I am on novice mode. <laughs> That's probably helping. Ooh! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> this stream is rated M for mature on account of monkey ball makes me cuss. Oh my Ready? god. All right, here's stunt ramp. My favorite level in novice mode, if I can get it right. Boink! Bro, if I if I can get the skip on this level, I'm gonna feel <laughs> I'm gonna feel so cool. All right, what do they want me to? Maybe I just go straight forward here. Nah, fuck it. I'm jumping off. I gotta do it. I gotta do it right. Okay, even further left. I got this. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> this, you know what this ramp reminds me of? This ramp reminds me of Monkey Target. If you know what I'm saying. Some real gamer shit. No! <laughs> uh, Aiden says, what engine was this made in? I believe Unity. I think there's a Unity pop-up at the beginning of the game. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull back once we get close. No. Fucking bullseye. Platinum! Got my first platinum. Got a got a steam achievement for that. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh-oh. Don't spank me now. Fallout. Dude, it's okay to, to still be obsessed Ready? with Overwatch. I forgive you. I, I up until three days ago was still playing Apex Legends every day. I'm like a closeted bro gamer. That's my secret identity, man. I like to talk about uh, Super Monkey Ball or whatever to seem cool, but the real me is out here playing fucking squad-based shooters <laughs> for like an hour and a half every day. God, I wish it was only an hour and a half every day. Bro, shout out to the sex bots keeping the chat popping and active. Y'all my my biggest fans. Ready? Go. Uh, fuck. Fallout. Ready? Go. We got this. Two minutes twenty one seconds left on the clock. Easy. Easy. Go. Craters. This little spin? Ready? Go. Yeah, it does. Oh no, they're really craters! <laughs> Oh, I see the, there's a little bit of a wall here. You think you're slick. Ready? Go! Whoa, what? Fallout. I kind of like, um, Ready? how these things, like, are all glitchy and... Fallout. It's cool looking. I don't know why that's happening. Ready? Go. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a second. No! Oh! Remember when that happened during my Brian Matt stream? Ready? Go. What is happening? I don't remember this level working this way. Do I need to lock the frame rate? <laughs> Come on. Got an A plus. All my stages. Total success. Cool. All right. Well, I think I've shown Thanks for playing. a decent chunk. What is, what is, is Monkey Ball slash Captain Mario a real thing? Because that would be sick. Um. So check this out, y'all. 
I'm gonna switch over to my Twitch and play a damn tactical shooter. <laughs> yeah, you, you saw right through me. I do want to go play Warzone. Um, so, a few things. One, if you want to come watch me stream, uh, twitch.tv slash Babylonian. I'll be live in about two minutes. Um, thing number two, and I probably should have done these in the opposite order, but whatever. Uh, this game is called Paperball. It's coming to Steam, I think, on March 27th. There's a playable demo on there right now, so if you want to get... If you want to try it for yourself and see what you think of the feel, because it is, like, very subjective. It is not... It does not feel like Monkey Ball. It's kind of its own thing, but I... I'm glad it exists. It clearly comes from a place of love, and that makes me happy. Um, here's... Credits. <laughs> Someone was asking about who the the voices are. Anyways, this game is cool. Um, I recommend just giving it a look. If you want, you can. There's a link in the description to the Steam page. Um, you can like wishlist it if you'd like to support it or be notified once it's out. So um, I recommend that. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna go to my Twitch channel and see if this new computer that I have. This mid-range computer I bought on sale is powerful enough to uh, <laughs> play Warzone and stream it at the same time. So, I'll see you there. And, yeah. Shout out to Super Monkey Ball. I wish we could bring the bots with us over to Twitch. That would be a real... <laughs> that would be a treat. But unfortunately... They have to die as soon as this chat room ends. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. I almost just did the MKBHD outro. <laughs> Catch you in the next one. Peace.